Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of August. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. There is a ton of information there for you. Um, personal reading information, links, all kind of stuff. So please do go check that out. And before we get started here, um, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So Sagittarius, Love Connection reading, second half of August. This can be any kind of connection that you have in mind um, with whoever you have in mind. So we'll see what we get here. And I hope everybody's doing well. Almost done, uh, almost done summer, what, maybe another month or so. So let's see, Sagittarius, love connection reading, second half of August. This is a zodiac oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet energy, and whatever comes out here, if you feel like you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. The rest of the reading may be for you, or parts of it, or, you know, however parts of it resonate. Okay, so what do we have affecting maybe some Sagittarians the second half of August? And this love connection reading spirit, please. Can we have one card? Who may some Sagittarians be dealing with or our energy around them? There we go. Is that two? No, that's one. Let's see. Leo. Well, some of you could be connecting with another fire sign. A Leo. Fire on fire. May get steamy and hot. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So let's see now. With this deck here, we shall get an overall love energy for you, Sagittarius, for the second half of August, for whoever you have in mind now, whatever this connection is for you. What is the love connection energy like? Well, the chariot. And this is cancer energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is the chariot. This is going forward. Something's moving forward here. Something's going forward. And a very chariot is a very balanced energy. It's very um, enthusiastic. It's a go-getter kind of energy. Uh, being very determined to go after whatever you're seeking to, uh, uh, seeking to accomplish. Being very successful and balanced. Just going after it with a lot of drive and ambition. Well, alrighty then. So some some may have this love connection moving forward very quickly, but it be very balanced and successful. Maybe two fire signs. Okay. And seven, I just noticed here the chariot is seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. It's a very divine number. So this may be a... Um, a very spiritual divine sort of connection between you and another fire sign a Leo perhaps for some all right so now let's get one card for your energy what kind of energy are you in right now how are you thinking about this person and how are you feeling about this connection so we have I believe this is the Eight of Wands. So this is your energy, fire. Or it could be their energy, but this is how you're feeling about this person and this connection. So this is the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so this is about taking action. This is, um, this says success and growth. So um, I do believe that's the Eight of Wands. Yeah. So Eight of Wands is, although it says success and growth, I think you feel like you want to see um, how this can succeed and grow with this person. And the eight is also about travel, movement, very quick pace communication. Wands a very passionate energy, you know, the fire energy, the fire signs. So it could be very passionate communication in some way. I mean, it doesn't always have to be sexual. In nature, it could just be very like excited um, kind of energy. All right, so let's see how your person, whoever you have in mind, if it's a Leo or somebody, it could be a Cancer 
or a Leo. Um, let's see. I want one card for your person. So we have, so wow, this is interesting. We have the eight and nine of wands. Wow. So if you feel like this is you and that's them, then you can please reverse the sides here however you see fit. But this, I'm reading it as this you and this is your person. So you're wanting success, growth, action, communication, uh, travel, you know, all that sort of fast and has in exactly with the chariot energy is sort of like this eight of wands is sort of like the minor of the chariot to me. So yeah, you want, you want this to move forward. You want success. You want growth, communication, um, maybe traveling to see this person, very excited and passionate kind of energy, but they are, you know, the nine of wands, um, it's kind of like the wounded warrior. So, I mean, it's rest and reconsider, but it's also, so they may be thinking about this and not sure, you know, considering it or reconsidering it. Nine of Wands is also, to me, the wounded warrior. They've been through a hard struggle and fight. They're still willing to fight and persevere on, even though they it's been a long, hard battle. They still have that endurance and, and fight left in them. But that's very interesting. We have the eight and nine of wands. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the seven, I believe that's the seven of swords. Seek the truth. So the seven of swords, I mean, if there's been any uh, self-deceit or not facing the truth in this connection, the overall energy here is to seek the truth in this connection. Um, to let go of self-deceiving ways and thoughts about this connection. And again, with se wow, seven, seven. So this could be a very spiritual, divinely guided um, connection here for you. One wants to go forward quickly, and one is kind of like a little on guard or, you know... <clears throat> Kind of like in this rest and reconsider energy. I feel like this person kind of wants to, but then they're not sure. Kind of energy. Okay. But there's a need here to, you know, seek the truth in this connection in some way, shape, or form. But the overall energy here also is, you know, we have seek move to seek the truth of this connection. You need to move forward, either in just communication or something here. Seek the truth. What is this? Oh my God, underneath we have another seven. Holy crap, <laughs> and another seven. Oh my God, I cannot make this up. Seven, seven, seven. Holy crap, you gotta look up that angel number. Something is very, very divinely guided here. Four sevens, and four speaks about stability, uh, the basis, the foundation. Wow. And then we have the seven. So we got the seven, eight, and nine of wands. So again, this is, you know, defensive kind of energy. So I don't know if someone here is being a little, it could be this person still a little defensive and they're just like considering, like, I don't know. But then you have the crown chakra. So this is like that higher knowing, you know, that is, uh, spiritual awakening that is being divinely connected that is um listening to your gut your intuition your higher knowing listening to source being divinely guided wow something very divinely guided here okay i'm gonna leave these uh let's see can you see those all right four sevens wow cannot make that up Okay, put this down just a little bit. Wow, okay, so I just want to warn you that I do have the sexual magic tarot here. So if you are offended by sexual positions or, let me make sure that's not upside down, or nudity, then you may not want to watch 
just to warn you. Okay. All right, so let's get some clarity for Sagittarius. Why are they in this? Actually, this goes over here. Okay, I'm gonna put those there. Okay. So, why is Sagittarius in this Eight of Wands energy? In this connection. So we have the Queen of Wands. So, and there's your energy or this Leo energy. So, Wands here, uh, Leo Sag Aries. So, it could be your energy or your person's energy. So, you're thinking of this person, whether it's a male, female, Queen of Wands, somebody, somebody very uh, fiery, passionate, go getter, ambitious, um, successful, creative kind of energy, very attractive. Kind of energy all right so let's get one for your person why are they in this rest and reconsider energy towards you Sagittarius the lovers so so they're considering here whether or not they want you to be their lover so the lovers here is a very uh, soulmate energy so yeah, so they're considering, you know, is this my soulmate? Do I want this connection? Uh, lovers is Gemini, but doesn't have to be. So um, and lovers also speaks about making decisions. Um, and you see two women here. So, so I don't know if there's a third party involved here. If you or them have to decide between two people. Um, but somebody's considering here whether or not to accept this connection, this person, this soulmate. Wow. So I feel like they definitely, they do feel the connection to you. But they're considering, considering this connection and trying to make the choice. If they're, maybe they, they have two people, or maybe you have two people, maybe they're wondering... If you have somebody else, are you going to choose them? But we can clearly see here because we did get Leo and now we have the Queen of Wands in your energy with this success, growth, communication. So, all right. So let's see. Let's see. What is the actual situation here? Can we get three cards for Sagittarius? Let's look next your reading. And of August, what is this actual situation? I love three cards, please. It's way too many. Three cards for Sagittarius. Oh, well, there you go. Three. All right. I'll do it this way. So we have the Knight of Swords. This is air energy. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Magician. So the actual situation is here that... The Knight of Swords energy is somebody that wants to rush in, tell the truth, speak with clarity. Uh, sometimes they can be a little naive about the way they rush in and they say things and may cause trouble and havoc. So um, there's a need here to watch that kind of energy. So somebody wants to rush in without really thinking and speak their truths um, and that sort of energy. And the king of pentacles so feeling it's either you or them i mean this is your energy i feel because this would be connected to you so you feel like you want to rush in tell them exactly how you feel what's going on with you um just like rush in and like spill it all and they may be like what the heck is going on and then under them we have the magician over here on this side connecting to them so i feel like they're thinking back, they're sitting here thinking, are they gonna choose me? I feel the connection, you know, I feel like they're my soulmate and I would like them to be my lover, but I just don't know what they're gonna do, what's gonna happen, and they want it, you know, this is about manifesting, making things happen, new beginnings. So they definitely feel like want, they want this new beginning, they want this to manifest with you, but they're unsure, but you, you definitely have them on your mind because we did get Leo, and this is the Queen of Wands, which is Leo Sag Aries. And you're also in this energy of wanting to rush in and just spill the beans and tell it like it is in this connection. And then connecting the two of you is the King of Pentacles. So 
But now we have earth energy, which is very stable and grounded and safe and secure. And it's connecting the two of you. So I feel like, you know, the king, it's an earth energy um, with the king of pentacles in the middle. I feel like even though there's this um, very high energy coming from both sides, that coming together in the middle will be very stable and grounded. It'll be safe and secure. The king of pentacles energy here, uh, very strong, stable and grounded. Um, pentacles are very slow, so very slow growth and just being um, very strong, uh, stable connection here. That's connecting the two of you. So let's see what your advice is, Sagittarius, the second half of August. So we have the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So your advice is, we have Air Energy, Three of Swords. This is about heartbreak, uh, very painful um, hurt here. And then we have the Six of Pentacles, which is a, which is a very balanced um, energy. So whatever heartache or pain there was in this connection, whether it was caused by you or them, the advice, this is your advice. So your advice is a need here of balancing out the energy. If something was very painful or hurting to them or whatever here, it needs to be rectified with a balancing of energy in this connection. So if that means coming in and tell them how you really feel, so we can get to this King of Pentacles energy of being very stable and secure, manifest it, telling the truths, overcoming the heartache and pain, and balancing out the energies. So if you are in the energy of communi wanting communication and that sort of thing, and they're just kind of over here like, I don't know, Maybe there's no communication right now. That's why we have move, like things need to move forward here. Coming together, you know, the two hands coming together and need to come together. That's why we also have seek the truth, choose your battles. Do you choose this? Do you not choose this? Stand up, standing up and fighting for it kind of energy. And listening to your intuition and your gut feelings about this connection. If you're feeling it's a divinely guided connection, it most certainly is with four sevens here because we got four sevens and then we have eight, nine. Wow. So let's see what the possible outcome may be. So we have the hermit. So, you know, the hermit here is healing. It's doing inner work. It's uh, reflecting, thinking, contemplating, finding your way, uh, finding your way, finding your light. Um, really thinking about where you want to go, what you need to do, what's best for you. So I think the, and this is Virgo energy. So the outcome here could be, you know, really thinking, thinking about this connection, either you or together, you know, how is this going to move forward? Where do we go from here? The hermit, you know, is a, it's kind of a solo energy as you're doing inner journey work, but it can also be, um, just taking your time, taking it very slow. The hermit is kind of like a standstill almost energy. So, you know, or maybe the two of you just spending a lot of time alone together away from the world, you know, getting to know one another. And there, you know, we see three people here. So maybe choosing, you know, they're wondering, are you going to choose them? And I feel like here you choose somebody because somebody's left out in the cold here. And I know it depicts two men and a woman, two men and one woman, but it could be vice versa. All right, so let's get more clarifiers for you now. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the King and the Queen. So this is definitely same suit, even though this is Earth energy, that's fine. Uh, this is just energy. So King and Queen of Pentacles, this is definitely um, soulmates here because they're the same suit. Um, so the King matches the Queen. So very stable, sturdy and grounded. Um, Abundant, you know, can take care of themselves, financially set, good with finances, smart, analytical, uh, very stable and secure kind of energy. Eight of Cups, water energy. So, you know, people walking away from things no longer serving them, that no longer fulfilling for them, um, no more uh, love, affection, fulfillment in any way. So, walking away from something, but walking to something better, whether it be you or them. 
the Knight of Pentacles. So here is the action coming forward now. Uh, you are them coming forward with an offer. Knight of Pentacles, very, very slow. So this could be very slow, slow energy. But it's very stable. It's secure. It's well grounded. It comes in. The Pentacles come in and they stay. They don't leave. Um, you can trust the Pentacles. And when they offer you something, they mean it. And it's about building and growing and having a firm uh, foundation. Okay, let's get something else here. And the Empress. So this is, you know, can be your energy or their energy. Somebody who knows their value, their worth, who is very abundant, who is very um, caring, nurturing, giving, embodies all the queens of the deck, passionate and loving, caring, uh, fiery, truth, clarity, stable, sturdy, and grounded. Kind of energy so that could be you or them the both of you together could you know this is about uh, new things also growing uh, new beginnings abundance so this could be this energy of this growth and abundance in this connection of this new beginning between you and this person so now we have the knight of wands so this is the fire energy. So again, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, now the Knight of Wands. So not only coming in with a sh sure, steady, grounded, stable offer, but also very fiery, passionate, exciting uh, communication, action coming in. So not only stable, secure action, but very fiery, passionate action. And now we have the Queen of Swords. So definitely here, um, your energy here definitely could be three people involved here because now we have the Queen of Pentacles over there, Queen of Swords over here. So somebody could be getting cut out here that's kind of cold and um, harsh kind of energy. You see she doesn't look too warm and cozy. Kind of cold and harsh and brash kind of energy, cutting tongue maybe. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Fool. So now this is starting over, starting, resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, trusting that you're moving in the right direction in this connection, and trusting everything will be fine. Trusting your, with the crown chakra, your gut, your intuition, wanting to seek the truth. So you're gonna take that leap of faith, choosing to take that leap of faith, being divinely guided brand new beginning here leaving all past baggage behind just taking with you what you need and resetting and starting over at zero with a clean slate and now we have the wheel so this is your energy Sagittarius so this is about divine timing this is the wheel of fortune this is fate destiny things going in a better direction things going in your favor so I have felt that divinely guided connection here and now we have the wheel which is a very divinely guided energy of fortune and good luck and things going in your favor with the wheel of fortune so now we have justice so this you know balancing out the scales and you have that over here with the minor with the six of pentacles and this is balancing out the scales telling truths honesty doing what's fair and just and Libra energy here so getting serving justice in this connection or divorce could have been at play somewhere here either you or them or something in the legal system so we have the nine of swords air energy stress worry anxiety fear uh, staying up at night um, just a lot of nervous uh, fear and worry anxious energy you are them or the two of you wondering what's going to happen with this connection but now we now we have the king of cups so you know a lot of different energies here so um this could be your energy their energy somebody there is love here with the king of cups somebody knows how they feel they're in tune in touch with their emotions they may not verbally express them too often um they don't really wear their heart on their sleeve but they know how they feel and they show how they feel, but they may not verbalize it. And 
you know, the King of Cups here um, isn't afraid to show when he loves somebody. So, yep, I feel like, Sagittarius, I feel like there is no communication right now, or very little. Um, you or them, somebody's waiting for justice in this connection. Like, what's going to happen? Is it going to move forward? You know, somebody needs to uh, balance out the scales here in this connection. Tr you know, start to move it forward. You know, seeking the truth of the connection. I very much feel like it's a divinely guided connection here. Soulmate energy for sure. Um, but... I don't know, things just feel like at a standstill. Whether somebody's going through divorce right now or with the justice here. But I do see love, I see passion, I see truth, I see stability, I see that's all here. So there can be stability, there can be truth, honesty, love, passion, it's all here in this connection. All right. So let's get some extra guidance for you. Wow. So we have choice, which is number 39, uh, which, yeah, 39, which is 12, which is three, which is about reuniting, coming together, teamwork, collaboration. And then we have hidden blessings, 26, which is eight. Again, with the eight, which is in your energy, about... Um, communication and hidden you know wanting to know will this succeed and grow and here we have if this choice is made there's a hidden blessing in this connection because I do feel it's divinely guided here and you see the butterfly here transformation you know not everything is known yet you see all these all this energy trapped in the bubbles here not yet released so that's as you get to seek the truth and get to know one another, start to move it um, in the right direction in this connection, then all these little energy bubbles will be released, be transformation, and there's a hidden blessing in here for you Sagittarius in this connection. All right, let's see what is on the bottom of the deck. Replenish. So. You know, there may be a need here to rejuvenate, relax, rest, recuperate. 31-4, which reminds me of the Four of Swords energy. So if there's divorce at play here, there may be a time, you know, needing time here to rest, recuperate, heal, rejuvenate, retreat, spend some time alone, thinking and contemplating, and really resting. And then breathe. So here it's telling you to breathe. Just take a minute, breathe as you, you know, replenish here. Just take a step back. You got 22 here, which is four, which is about stability, your foundation. So, yeah, just breathe, take it all in, relax, and try to think about what you would like to do in this connection. All right. Sagittarius. This resonated for you. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So don't miss out on that. And good luck to you in your love connection here, whatever it is for you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.